Hey guys, so I know it's been forever, like a month and more since I posted my last video and I want to apologize and I'd give you a reason, but I don't want to make excuses. Truth be told, I'm super busy. Um, I try and get on every day. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to sit down and like record every day. However, um, I'm breaking that habit or that little streak I had going. Um, I really want to get some videos done for you guys. And today I have a little time before I go to work and I was browsing on here a little bit and I stumbled upon this video I thought was really really cool um, and I was like you know what I didn't come up with September this. now so Halloween is about a month away and for those of you that like to dress up um, even if you're not looking for something like <laughs> crazy extravagant uh, this is kind of something cool it can kind of um, you know it's definitely a conversation starter. So, if you're just looking for something kind of fun, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a panda lip. Um, again, I did not come up with this. I saw this done somewhere else, and I thought, well, maybe not all of my subscribers have seen it. And I actually have the stuff to do it. So, um, I thought it would be fun. Something fun to show you guys, and, you know, something different than what's on my channel. So, again, this is going to be a panda That's lip tutorial. Have. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to condition my lips, and I'm just going to use my Victoria's Secret Lip Scrub. Um, just looks like this. Just to kind of make my lips nice and soft. And I actually haven't done this in quite a while. I'm just going to use this Lip Smacker Chapstick that my best friend got me um, in like vanilla bean or something like that. And this is great because it's 100% natural. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. This panda lip is something white, whether it's an eyeshadow, a like a face paint um, that's really used for Halloween. Um, if you have a white lipstick, um, if you're fortunate to have something that's white, um, you can use that. Uh, if you avoid eyeshadow, that works as well. If you're just going to use a white eyeshadow, I definitely suggest putting a concealer on your lips to make your lips as pale as possible. Um, I'm going to skip that step because I have a whitish colored pencil and I also have a lipstick from MAC that is pretty whitish. So um, I'm going to apply a small or a small, a very thin layer of Naturally Eccentric from MAC. You guys definitely can't see that. Um, this is a very palish nude lip color. So. Just going to apply a little bit of that on my lips. And then I'm going to go over that with this Palladio Herbal Crayon. It's a shadow and liner crayon. And this looks a little weird, but it's uh, this icicle white color. Uh, there is a little bit of sparkle in this. You don't necessarily want something that's sparkly, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. Now, I don't really have full lips. So for those of you that have bigger lips or fuller lips, it's going to look more cool on you than it is going to on me. But again, I'm just kind of showing you the basic idea. So first thing you're going to do is use any anything white and you're going to color your lips in. This might take a lot for me using this pencil. Your lips to be as white as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and go over this with a white eyeshadow. And the white eyeshadow I'm going to be using is just this little strip um, here from this Milani palette. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw on the ears, the eyes, and the nose of our teddy, or teddy bear, or panda bear. Um, I am just using a Wet n Wild pencil liner. You can use whatever you want. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to draw little half circles right here on the outer parts of your lip. And then, see my lips are kind of peaked. I have this like dip here. So I'm going to draw the eyes like right here on the little dip and then the nose will be right there in the center and then when we move our mouth it'll look like our panda bear is talking so here we go
this is the part where the bigger the lips you have, the easier this is going to be. I have very narrow lips on the top, so... It's not as easy for me as it would be for somebody else. And that's how you get panda bear lips. <laughs> So that's how you get panda bear lips. I know this is a totally off the wall tutorial. Um, again, I did not come up with this. So if you guys are like interested in recreating this, uh, leave video posts or video responses below. I think it would be awesome to see you guys do this tutorial. Um, this is something, again, if I went on public with this, it's something that's going to, you know, start conversation. So this is something great for Halloween. Um, it's really not practical, obviously, for everyday use, unless you're one of those people that can go out into public and, you know, not be afraid to wear this. Uh, however, I think this is a really awesome idea. And I just want to say again, I did not come up with this. Um, this is a look that I actually saw somebody else do. And actually, I might leave her channel link below. Um, I did not come up with this myself, but I just thought it was awesome and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, if you've been focusing on my mouth this entire time, it looks like you're talking to a panda. Um, leave video comments, video responses below uh, if you guys want to redo this. You can probably do this with any kind of animal. Um, it'd be really awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, I know I had fun doing it for you guys. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye!